Okay, you're here because you want to fix that. Let's do it. In order to fix this, you're going to need uh, this part from Toyota. It is the stopper. They call it the auto checker assembly. Um, hopefully I got the right one because it says FR, which sounds like front right. But let's find out if I got the right part. Gonna have to take the door panel off. Um, and in order to do that, uh, it is much easier to do that with the window down. So put the window down, you're gonna have to take this off. That's uh, really simple, you just look up underneath and take a little screwdriver and go like that. And that's it, it's that easy. And then you open the handle at the same time and the whole thing just pops out. So then you take this screw out and this screw out. And then Toyota gave us a sweet prying point right here. Let's see if you can feel that or see that. But it's right here and right here. These two little dimples. Actually with this, I actually just reached in and just grabbed it and pulled it out. Don't forget you're gonna have to take the little plastic cover off right here. It just pops off. You literally just pull it off with your fingernails uh, from the back end. That's it. That is going to reveal a whole bunch of these little guys. One, two, three. And there's a fourth one up high. That's on the back. And on the front, you gotta take them all out once they're all cooked. Actually, I decided to do this when uh, guys are cleaning, doing the lawn. So you gotta pop this out as well. Uh, this is something that's different from all the other Toyotas that I own. So you just lift it up, pop it out. These just pop out vertically out of these slots. Once it's upside down, take the two plastic connectors out. You squeeze here and then pull it out and pull it out you're gonna reveal one more screw that's right there we gotta get that puppy out completely out this way then you can lift the card out you're also gonna need to remove this uh, mine came out on its own which is concerning hopefully it's not broken um, <coughs> You'll have to remove these two guys. So they're basically just wedged in. So you pop this plastic piece out first and then the little uh, cable slides out of this slot right here and then this slot right here. That's it, it's that easy. You just pop this out, pop that one out and then you take the cable and you slide it out of these slots right here. Then the whole thing comes right off and it exposes everything. So I'm going to take 10 millimeter and remove these two nuts, 10 millimeter, and remove that bolt. And then we're going to have to take this uh, weather paper off, and uh, we'll have to re-stick it, and then we can access it and replace it. So this bolt has a little bit of blue Loctite on it, which is uh, semi-permanent. So be aware that this is going to take a decent amount of force. Probably not going to get it with just regular tools. Um, I wouldn't recommend using a power tool on it. I would just break it open with uh, with your uh, by hand on with a ratchet. So we're going to peel this sticky, nasty stuff off, and then we're going to slide this uh, bad mama jamma out. And we'll be uh, good to put the new one in. So I threw a little bit of fresh blue Loctite on. Torqued it down, and then I tighten these guys up, close the uh, vapor barrier up as best as I could. Now we're going to put it all back together in the opposite direction. I'm going to feed these guys through the hole where the uh, panel goes. I'm going to connect these back on. This light goes back into its little slot. That's it. Put the uh, screws back in, put the cover back on the door on the little uh, door handle, the rear screw. That's it. I'm not even going to show you. Hope that helps.